The AI revolution is here. The world is changing quickly and either you accept it and adapt or you will be left behind. As Nike founder Phil Knight said, life is growth. You grow or you die. See, even kids in China are now using AI daily in schools. And chances are, this new AI generation will arrive on the job market with a skill set much more developed than yours if you don't take action right now. I'm going to share with you 11 simple ways that you can start using AI in your everyday life and all of this for free. By the way, don't miss number seven. It completely shifted my perceptions on school and how you should be learning. If you're new around here, then hi, my name is Renee. I'm the founder of Wingrow, an AI automation agency, and I've also just created a free school group that you can now join to learn more about AI and how you can automate things. Before getting into the 11 ways that you can start using AI in your life, I would recommend that you download one of the most popular AI language model on your phone. And so you've got the choice here between OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, uh, you're going to find them in the App Store. I also recommend that you download Perplexity AI. Uh, this is a very good AI for research, but I'll be talking more into details about Perplexity later in this video. The first way you can start using AI for yourself is to augment and amplify your creativity. According to Jeremy Otler, a Stanford professor, AI makes people at least 25% faster with a 40% increase in output quality. And the key to making AI worse for you, it's surprising. It's to actually treat AI as a teammate and not as a tool. So as you use AI, coach it, guide it towards what you're looking for in terms of answers. At the beginning, when you ask it to give you answers about certain topics, if you don't like the output, Explain to it why you don't like the output, how it should be structured according to you, and with time you'll be, you'll be getting better and better outputs, okay? Here's a prompt that you should be asking AI right after this video. I promise you will have one of the most interesting conversations you ever had, and by the end of the conversation with the AI, you will have at least four new ways of how you can improve your life with AI. And by the way, simple trick that I use daily in my business, don't hesitate to ask AI how to use AI. What I mean by that is quite simple. If you want to ask something to AI, but you don't know how to prompt it, how to ask it, then explain to AI what are your intentions and ask it to create a prompt to get what you're looking for, okay? So this is using AI for AI. The second use case for AI is for research. This is something I do every day in my line of work, okay? So instead of using ChatGPT or Cloud, and you can do it, there's no problem, I prefer using something that's called Perplexity AI. The reason is simple, I've had the best results when it comes to research with Perplexity AI. It gives me all the source of everything I'm looking for, and it provides, if you use Perplexity Pro, it provides super in-depth research papers about the topic that you're looking for. The third use case is super useful when it comes to writing. You don't need to pay those expensive subscriptions anymore. I'm talking about Entido, Grammarly, and all the other software that helps you writing by correcting your text. Now, if you write something and you want to make sure you have no grammar mistakes in the text, you can actually write your text, copy and paste it inside OpenAI or Claude, anything that you like, and have it correct your mistakes. And that's going to make sure that you look professional at all time. The fourth use case has been particularly helpful for me when I travel, especially in countries where the language is vastly different from English or French. So right now I'm in Estonia and a lot of times I need things translated. So what I do is I will usually on my phone use OpenAI ChatGPT and either take a picture of what I'm trying to translate and ask it to translate in French or English, or I can also use the video function on ChatGPT and show it a real situation and ask it to describe to me what's happening or translate in real time. Super useful feature that I recommend you use. It's way better than Google Translate and this is going to transform the way that you translate text. One of the things I use AI the most for is brainstorming ideas. Things like can you help me find a gift for my brother's birthday? Or in my home, I have this empty spot. Here's a picture of how it looks. Can you help me find something that I should buy and put there as a furniture? Okay. The way I'm going to prompt the AI is usually something like, 
Can you give me 50 examples of gifts for my brother's birthday? He's, let's say, 26 years old. He likes basketball. He likes gaming, etc. And then I get a list of 50 different things, and I can select something in there that I think would fit. But also, if I'm not satisfied, I can ask 50 different other things. It's super useful to remove this blank page syndrome that we have when we need to brainstorm ideas. The next one is an obvious one, but I have to mention it. Everyone is doing this. As soon as you have a problem, you go on Google search, YouTube, and that's a good habit. But here's how I like to do it now. Using AI, I go into ChatGPT and I'm going to describe the problem I have and I'm going to ask ChatGPT, can you help me find what's the potential cause of this problem and can you help me fix it? A lot of the times it's going to be a simple fix, especially if it's technological and ChatGPT will help me solve it in two minutes or less. This is absolutely amazing and you should be looking into doing this more in your daily life. The seventh use case is probably the most useful one and it's the one that completely shifted my perception on schools and how you should be learning. And I'm talking about learnings. According to Oxford University, AI has the possibility to significantly enhance academic performance and study efficiency. It basically can help you learn anything that you want to learn online. But there's a caveat. You should never use AI as a single source of truth. There's this one thing in AI that we call hallucinations, which basically means that sometimes, yes, AI is making some stuff up. So how do you use AI to learn something you're probably asking yourself? Well, it's been proven many times that one of the best ways to learn something is retrieval of information. You can get AI to test you about all the topics that you'd like and ask you questions. And here's the real power of things. When you interact with AI, and you have AI ask you questions and grade you, it's a super good way of learning topics. Here are a couple of prompts that you should be trying to learn things with AI. If you think about it, the reason why people go to school is to learn with a curriculum, be graded and tested on their knowledge, and get certifications which is supposed to help them get jobs in the future. Well, in a world where AI can help you build a curriculum on any topics that you want, then also help you study as an assistant, ask you questions, and then test you based on your answers. The only thing that's lacking is certifications. And guess what? For entrepreneurs like me who employ people in technology, I don't care very much about the certifications of people. I care more about the skill sets and their knowledge and if they can do the job. I think it speaks for itself. And you should definitely give a go at being an autodidact with the help of AI. The eighth way of using AI is to summarize piece of information for you. So if you're someone that likes to be informed on what's going on in the world, you read a lot of articles and you're starting to not have the time to read those articles, you can feed those articles or the link of those articles into AI and ask it to summarize the key points and give you the key learnings of those articles. And suddenly you go from reading 20 minutes, 30 minutes to reading two to five minutes, the key points, and the learnings are basically the same. You're doing 20% of the effort for 80% of the results. The night way of using AI is to do job searching. In the world where AI is going to start taking a lot of jobs over, it might be very relevant, okay? One of the things that you can do with this is create your resume or at least optimize it. I wouldn't create my entire resume with AI. Then it can also, based on job descriptions, help you create a better cover letter. It can also help you practice for job interviews. So if you feed the information on the company that you're applying to, to the AI, you can simulate questions and I have AI help you prepare for interviews, but also you can describe your skill set to AI and have it find some potential jobs for you. The 10th way of using AI in your daily life is to have it do your meal planning. So if you're like me and you don't like planning what you're going to be eating every week and you have some specific diets that you want to do or specific needs, you can ask AI to do that planning for you. Not only that, you can ask AI to basically tell you what to purchase that you will need to do those meals. This is super useful to save a lot of times. If you're basically putting three hours per week to do this meal planning 
and it takes you 15 minutes now with AI, you're essentially saving two hours and 45 minutes per week, which you can use to do other things. The last way that you can use AI in your daily life is for budget planning. You can ask AI to basically create you a budget based on your household income. You can feed your expenses to AI and have it help on optimizing your expenses, see if you should be cutting on certain different things. You can use it to help you saving for what you're saving. And overall, AI is a great tool to help you gain some financial literacy if you need it. If you found this video to be helpful and you like it, please like and subscribe down below. And don't hesitate to send us any feedback. I read all the comments. And if you want to know more about AI, I just created a completely free new school group that you can join. The link is going to be in the description. Me and my business partners are going to post daily on there to teach people about how we use AI in our business. So if you have a business, it's going to be very relevant for you, but also how you can automate things in your life or in your business with AI.